Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new spirit video. And we are going to be taking a look at each individual new prop. So, let's begin with the first one, Wacky Mole. Let me just get the video of him up. Alright. Let's watch Wacky Mole. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. He also returns from 2013. And he is a very old prop. Credit to Spirit for all these videos. Alright, and that was Wacky Mole. Let's go to another prop. Let's go to Grim. Because he's second on the list. All right, well, here's Grim. You look like death walked over, my friend. This is good. Soon there will be enough of us. And this guy actually uses servos. First one to use servos. He's not the best bra, but he's something. He's definitely something. Now let's continue over to Mr. Howell. And I will be in fact going to Spear Halloween this year. Alright. He is a cool guy, but not the best, again. Um, Henry Hustle is one of the best ones, because he has a cla such a classic jump scare. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show the video. There you go. Seems you've picked the card of death. <laughs> Love his pop up scare. Time for a trick. Remember this card, it'll be the last thing you'll ever see. <laughs> really cool prop. I hope I see him in store because that would be a nice one to see. Let's continue down. Find a box was already showcased back then. Um, Buzzsaw, one of the best ones again. He's a really cool prop. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to play the video. I think he also uses servos for his blade. Not too sure. Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> you need to be cut. Down to size. I've got a hammer. And I hammer in the evening. All over this place. <laughs> He's one of the coolest props. 
and he might actually be coming back for 2022. Who knows? Knowing Spirit, they bring back one of the most garbage props. Let's go down to Night Stalker, which I would get if I actually had him enough. It's not what I wanted to do. And this guy might be one of the loudest ones. <laughs> and he gradually gets scarier, well, more crazier as it goes on. Now, let's talk about two classics. First, Beetlejuice. And he was supposed to originally come out almost a year ago. But somehow got cancelled, I think. He has some audio, so... Actually, because he doesn't... Because he uses the audio from, like, way back when, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not risking copyright. So, you won't be seeing um, Beetlejuice... Or, um, or, or Ghostface on the channel. You will be seeing the W Wraith, though. So let's watch the video. Not that bad of a prop. And, um, I think that is it. Now, there is one last thing I need to show you guys, and that is the themes. So, let's go over there. Alright, so, right here are the themes. Let's check out the front theme, or at least the side. So, oh, the, it went down, it went down, it went down. I need to fix that. I need to go up so you guys can see the beautiful themes. This is for this year, and you can see... Um, they are quite big, so you can obviously see, uh, Beetlejuice, uh, Henry Hustle, Puncture P, and Buzzsaw, and the one right in the middle that says War, that one in the, that swingy is Harriet Hustle. You can also see the Hauntress on the left, like the far left, as well as the entrance, and it doesn't actually look that bad, and to be honest, it might be one of the favorite themes. The back theme, though, is way bigger than this. First, we got a huge factory, which looks more like a factory. You can obviously see Pikachu, not Pikachu. You can see Wacky Mole right there. Care Taker, um, on the left. That guy, Harvester Souls. And Night Stalker, which is actually right there. You could you could barely see him. And then you have Experiment 4 on this side, as well as Mr. Dark. You can kind of see him through the window. And over here is uh, Ophelia and Evelyn Leech. So quite cool themes. I really love the themes. They are amazing. And I that's it for this video, I guess. So that's it for the sneak peeks. See you guys next time. Bye.